drink and talk about art. So he's got like 10 minutes of me talking about what shitty sucks? art. Yeah. artists and my clients is just I just know like okay this is good stuff this is gonna be successful at work and that's what we try to show here. Born in Detroit, D-Town, used to hang out in the 8 Mile, parents were ex-hippies that kind of thing so art and architecture is real important, learned a lot of stuff, read a lot of books, woodworking, bronze casting, sculpture, uh, cut my finger off twice, had it reattached, so that was fun. We have 13 artists that we represent. They're fantastic artists, some of the best and brightest. And that's what my job is. That's what I think I'm really good at, is knowing what's good and knowing what's bad. I think a lot of gallery owners forget that part. They forget to be judgmental and forget to critique and forget to think it's okay to tell somebody, yeah, that's not such great stuff. People buy a lot of bad art, unfortunately. And my job as the gallery director is to really is to make them successful for the whole thing. So I like to be able to take people into the studios. I like to be able to take people and show them kind of other things that are going on as well too. It's Robert Lucy, New York painter, fantastic artist. We've got Mark Hansen, incredible abstract painter. Stacy Holloway, she's a new sculptor we just picked up. She's been with us only for about a month now. Does a lot of 3D work, metal casting, these miniature installations that she builds. Very quirky, very different type of work. This is a part of a variable size installation. These planes can be mounted in different ways. Fantastic piece. Kind of spooky, kind of interesting, kind of funny, kind of serious all at the same time. We go out and, and people want to know, I mean, who are those guys? Oh, they're having the most fun of everybody here. Oh, that's the gallery I want to be at. Oh, look at that director's with them. They love him, he loves them. There's a huge sense of loyalty. That's kind of what I'm after with these guys too. And I've done it before in Michigan, but here in Chicago, man, the potential is just so much bigger and better because there's so much more of us. There's so much more of the people who care about art, who want to spend money on art. I'm just so excited about Chicago. I've only been here three years. Oh wow. So when I started this thing a year ago and built out everything from the ground up, I put all these walls up, I hung every single light. Like I'd prefer a great painting to go out the door and disappear and me never see it again, except maybe it's somebody's dinner party or something. That's the best. So my mentality is, you know, I really am an art seller. I mean, that's my job. I'm an art dealer. 